Hello and welcome to Building on a Budget Models. I'm Thomas and today we're going to be building the Ferrari 248 F1 in 1 20th scale by Fujimi. This is the first part of the video. Here you can see some of the pieces which were in there. We're going to be starting with this kind of uh, gearbox and some of the rear suspension. It was all primed in uh, grey from Tamiya. And then once I'd assembled all these parts here, I went over it in some Revell semi-gloss black. Some of the instructions are a little confusing, so look very carefully. Then going to use some of this Tamiya 12 carbon fibre decal sheet. First thing I do is put some low-tack masking tape onto the part that I want the uh, carbon fibre to go on. Then I trace the shape using this marker pen. Because it's low tack, I should be able to stick it on here no problem. And I also use some UMP strong decal solution to help it adhere to the shape as best as possible. It's also important to match up the pattern of the carbon fibre on both sides. Obviously you can add some extra detail to these parts, but most of this will be hidden. With the suspension arms, I also added a little bit of gold and silver to some of the kind of joints. And then just like the other bits, I also added some carbon fibre decals. really pleased with how this turned out. I do recommend this Tamiya decal sheet. So here it was. I whittled down this cocktail stick to add a little bit of silver to some of the joints. And then there was some gold at the tops. These colours weren't suggested by Fujimi, instead I realised that they were kind of included on the real car. It's important to be very gentle with these decals. happy with that. Now then it was time to do the steering wheel. This had carbon fibre as well but positioned in a kind of horizontal pattern so once I measured the shape I got it cut out so that the carbon fibre would be in horizontal lines across the wheel. Now because of the presence of the buttons and switches and things like that this needed a lot of decal solution to kind of best adhere to the shape of the wheel. I left it off the holding bits because those bits need to be in matte black. Where there were some little air pockets, I used a very fine point of a craft knife to puncture those bits. And there I painted up the wheel afterwards and I'm also added the little LCD screen at the top, which was a decal. Now then the engine block goes together and it's done in silver. You can add details to this, but uh, I wasn't going to because this will all end up covered up. I still wanted it to look as neat as possible though. This is all done in Revell acrylics. The end plates from the rear wing were first done in TS26 pure white. Then I masked off the top, which need to remain white, and added some TS49 bright red for the rest. I chose this paint because it is used on the Tamiya Ferraris from the early 2000s. 
need to be careful with these decals as they do go over some of the uh, slits, the aero designs. But the decals on these two are identical, so it doesn't matter which way round they go. Now the Marlboro decals for the airbox hadn't come with white sections, so I had to cut out these templates which I printed off the internet. Measured them up to make sure that they were the same size and then used this Tamiya 18mm masking tape to kind of paint over some templates. The airbox had already been done in white and then I went over it in with red. And then when I was happy after three coats, I then peeled off the tape to expose the white sections. Pretty happy with that. This part here at the bottom of the nose has a couple of Italian flags. But apart from that, there are no other decals on this section here. Now then, the Marlboro decals, which are used here, have a slightly sort of reflective look to them, sort of 3D look. These decals, which I got from a Chinese company, aren't the best, but I think they look okay once they're done. Now the one on the front here has a slit just behind the B where the vent is on the nose, so I made sure to cut that out. Now this one was printed by myself as it didn't come with the set that I bought, so I had to cut this very carefully using a craft knife. Here you can see how it's split into two sections, but then I found the UMP decal solution worked really well to help it adhere to the nose shape as well as possible. There are a few holes where aerials need to go here, so this needs to be done very carefully. Then you've got either the number 5 of Schumacher or the number 6 of Massa. And the other decals go along the nose. I wasn't happy with the position of some of these, so uh, I quickly moved some of them around to space them as best as possible. St sticking these Vodafone decals to the tops of the side pods is a little difficult as well, so the decal solution really helps. And these ones here aren't mentioned in the uh, kind of decal layout, so make sure you don't miss them. They're normally hidden behind the wheels. Now I decided to trim these slightly to make them look a little bit more like they have the Marlboro Chevron. Nearly done. Now the lower parts of the side pods are separate parts, but there's decals that need to go over both. So I tape them into place and then attach the decals. The UMP decal solution really helped here to fit them into place. And then when I was happy with how well they had adhered, I then used a brand new craft blade to run down the edge of those parts to separate them. That way I'd be able to clear coat them, happy that uh, they will uh, all be able to go together later like a big jigsaw puzzle. It's very important to do this not too long after the decals have gone down so that um, you don't accidentally tear them where they don't need to be cut. Very careful job.
There's also some little white bits here that uh, complete the Vodafone logos to go on top of the wings. No, they're not wings, but whatever these are called. Happy with that. And there we are. Here's the finished rear suspension and gearbox. The engine will go in front of it like so. These end plates from the wings uh, were then done with semi-gloss black on the other side. Had a look at the real one and they don't have exposed carbon fibre. And there is the bodywork. I'll let this rest for at least a day before adding some gloss clear. But I'm pretty happy with how this is going. I look forward to building it again and I'll see you at the next part. Thanks a lot for watching.